So uh, I wanted to kind of show you uh, a few of the uh, available reflashes we have. Uh, we work with uh, sector um, and suspension uh, to get uh, several new, new uh, flashes for the Lotus. Um, and uh, there's a Katana 2 supercharger, which uh, we unveiled two months ago now, I believe, uh, which has those new big maps in it, and the thing drives really nice. Um, we've sold several so far. Um, it's a really nice package. Uh, this is one that we'll be talking about EO, um, the executive order process, in a little bit uh, with California. Uh, we've also done uh, Vision Function. They're a uh, system supplier, supercharger system supplier from out east. Um, we've had customers come to us and just say, we'd like you to do this. So we, we take those projects on. Um, we've had Blackwatch Racing. We've got, we've got files for those as well. Uh, we can update that. Um, we recently did a wonderful car that's sitting out here, the, the Black 211, out front with a 100 octane power upgrade. Um, and I'll show you some results from that. Uh, and we just want to announce now um, these uh, Exige S tunes. Um, the Exige S is a funny car from Lotus. Uh, I say funny because several of the lower powered ones, the 220 and the 240, don't have the throttle all the way open. It's an easy way for them to <laughs> limit the power. <laughs> wow. I didn't think anybody would ever do that, but somebody <laughs> did it. And uh, so we've gone in and we've, uh, we've added up, we've, we've built a package around it. But uh, what we've done is come up with uh, two new tunes, which are available for these cars. And that's the Blade 275 and the Blade 300. And if you want to go next. Uh, the Blade 275, uh, we've increased the throttle opening on this. Um, we had to go in and find it and figure out how it worked. We went in and, and, um, and then we uh, added, uh, we made a package out of it so we could sell a nice, safe, complete package that includes uh, RLS intercooler. Uh, that's really light stuff. Um, I know a couple of customers have that. A uh, three inch pulley down from, I think it's 3.3 or something. And then the cup air box, which is something we standard, which is a nice standard from Lotus, which we really like that part. Uh, so this, this piece right here uh, with the software and these uh, three hardware items. Um, go to the next slide, please. We uh, were able to generate this, uh, this power on the dyno, which uh, we're talking rear wheel horsepower is a 245 horsepower. Um, at about 8,300 RPM. Um, nice increase in torque. This is the stock S, uh, Exige S220, uh, and this is our new curve. Super consistent, uh, 91 octane, uh, all those parts men mentioned above. Uh, but uh, with, when you add in about 12.5% uh, drivetrain loss, then you're getting the 275 horsepower number. It's nice and consistent. Um, and then, so Lotus did that for what, longevity and, and warranty? Lotus has a nice rollout of products, mm -hmm. which they do really well. Yeah. Uh, they've learned how to do it after the Esprit days, which they didn't do so well. And that's basically, they left the car uh, alone for a long time. Uh, now that they've uh, entered at a horsepower, they've gradually stepped it up. So this was an intermediate step that allowed them 30 horsepower increase, but it didn't allow all of it. So in the later years, they can allow all of it. Hmm. So it's uh, marketing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. S two twenty, S two forty, S two sixty, right? Yeah. So it's all the same hardware. It's just <laughs> a section in the code uh, that is changed, and the throttle opens all the way, and you get more horsepower. Uh, well, we did that, and we put a package around it uh, so that it would. But if you just open the throttle, uh, the, the maps and things like that are not right. So I, I don't know if anyone's doing that, but if they are. Uh, it's too lean. It'll hurt the engine. I think there's a few out there that are not in good shape right now just due to that. So we've, we've, we've tried to do it as a package and redo all the software around it uh, that was pertinent. Uh, and then we decided um, we'd open it all the way up. We actually had to close the blade a little bit uh, on the 275 in order to keep the stock injectors and the stock fuel pump because we don't some people just don't want to buy all that. So we, we put an intermediate step in there. We open the blade three-fourths of the way from where it needed to be, um, from where it was with the 220, and then we could offer the, two, the 275 without having to buy the extra hardware. But we didn't want to limit it there, so we went uh, and made a Blade 300. And the Blade 300 is the full throttle opening as much as it's got. Um, it's also got very similar parts, the RLS intercooler. Uh, it's got larger injectors. It's got an even smaller pulley, a 2.9 inch. Um, and this is really only possible with the big intercooler. 
I mean, it's just, it generates too much heat. You're spinning the supercharger too fast uh, without a nice uh, heat sink to take the heat out of it. Um, and it's also got the cup air box, and then we're, <coughs> we're uh, requiring a, a fuel pump to go along with that, just to bring the whole system up. The cup cars, I believe, already have this fuel pump, but the intermediate ones, they didn't have it. Uh, so it's basically an upgrade to a similar cup, uh, cup car fuel pump. Uh, and then the, the dynograph here. This one's a little harder to see, but you can see uh, this is the same stock line that we're comparing it to. Uh, and this is our new results. And this is the Blade 300, uh, 8300 RPM. We're making 264 through wheels. That's super consistent, 91 octane. Um, and it's a really nice package. We worked, uh, we worked pretty hard to, to make that, keep that in a nice safe zone um, to keep that detonation out of the picture. Um, and it's, it's really nice to drive. Uh, this one is hard to see with the light, um, but this is actually, I just wanted to show you this slide, which is the black 211 out here. Um, we did it right here in, in, in the shop at suspension. Um, and it's hard to see, but this is the torque line. And this is the, the original power line. Uh, we did nothing but add a slightly smaller pulley, a 3.1 inch pulley, which is, is a larger pulley than, uh, than what we have on the Exiges tuned, but it's slightly smaller than, than, than the stock, so it spins a little bit more, it gets a little more air. But we basically took that and added 100 octane fuel and calibrated for that, and we added uh, almost 40 horsepower. This is uh, 30, 35 at the rear wheel, so with 40 horsepower with the crank basically to end up the uh, 0250s. And it's super reliable, it's already been doing a couple track days, and it runs really nice. Um, so, yeah, we did that all right here. Um, stuff we have coming soon, uh, these are reflashes, um, uh, which is this uh, Katana uh, TVS, which is now the TVS is a larger supercharger than, than what you see on most of the cars. Uh, the TVS is a 1.32 liter instead of a 1 liter, and it also has the four lobe um, style uh, lobe inside the supercharger, so it's super efficient. It's very similar. It's, it's a baby brother of uh, what's on the store at CR1. Um, that's a 2300, this is a 1300. Uh, so we'll, we'll have that coming soon, um, uh, and that'll be on uh, Sector's Green Elise in, the, on right now. in the next few weeks. Uh, this year, we'll also be doing the Lotus Evora. Um, Sector has just got theirs um, out of the East Coast. It's beautiful. Uh, nice red, but we will have uh, flashes and upgrades and packages for that as well. Looks like a really nice platform to work from. Um, we're also going to be putting out uh, Aerial Atom 2, which is the Ecotech based supercharged engine. Um, we'll have a TVS package and built engine for that as well. Um, that's the same sort of built engine we get from GM Racing that we use in our uh, Seeking Type 1 through 3. Um, and it'll be available for the Aerial Atom 2s. Uh, and then Lotus Elise, uh, we're going to do some naturally aspirated uh, packages, lower cam switch point, uh, header, uh, nice inlet, uh, different things like that. We're, we're assembling that idea uh, of the package right now because there's definitely a lot of people that just want their car naturally aspirated. Excuse me. And then uh, right now, I put the last one on here, which is a, it's a, it's a, it's a reflash, but it's also um, a new package for us at Seekin. Um, and it's uh, Type 3, and that's the 370 horsepower, 2.2 liter built um, engine. Um, and that'll be available for Ariel Adam. That'll be av available for, um, for our Seekin uh, cars. And basically, we'll sell that as an engine package to anybody that's got <coughs> anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also do custom tuning. Um, so if, if one of the things about the Lotus market is that uh, everyone has something different, and that's a fantastic piece of uh, uh, a bit of kit, I guess they say, <laughs> in, in Britain. Um, you can have your, what you want on your car uh, in the Lotus and there, in, in the aerial market. Um, so we do custom tuning for the Lotus uh, Lee Exige. Um, you know, so maybe somebody wants to run 100 octane at the track. Maybe they want to run 95 octane. Maybe they don't want to do that. Maybe they want to have a you know a turbo car or something like that. We'll help you uh, get there. Yeah, program your controller, help you put the package together with uh, these guys, <laughs> Eric and Chanu.